Here's your StormTrack 7 forecast. Good afternoon, Eastern Iowa. I'm StormTrack 7 meteorologist Danny Cassie. Well, for today, it's going to be hot. We do have a chance of some showers and storms that are currently moving through the area and should last through the afternoon hours. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny and breezy. It'll be a little bit cooler with that cold front passing through. We'll see temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. And then on Thursday, we're back to hot conditions and mostly sunny skies. So this is going to be a little bit of a trend over the next couple of days. We do see these temperatures and these dew points hovering around the low to mid 60s. Speaking of these dew points, they will be in the upper 60s to lower 70s today, so we'll feel really muggy out there. Wednesday, we see a little bit of relief there, lower 60s to mid 60s. So that'll feel quite a bit different, a lot better than we've seen the past couple of days. But then Thursday, we ramp back up to the mid 60s. Then Friday and Saturday, we could be sitting in that uncomfortable range, upper 60s to low 70s. We see a storm system move through Thursday night into Friday. Now we have these dew points and hot temperatures. We have these high feels like temperatures. So it could be anywhere near 100 today. Now those showers and storms that are moving through could cool us down a little bit, but still gonna feel in the mid 90s at times. So if you are spending time outside, make sure to get some shade if you can. Wednesday will cool down to about the high temperature with those dew points on the low side. But then Thursday through Saturday, we could again feel through the mid to upper 90s. So it is gonna feel very warm out there over the next five days. Winds are also gonna be breezy today. Anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour through the afternoon and evening hours. Could see some gusts up to 30 miles per hour. These are out of the southwest. You notice overnight we stay around 5 to 10 miles per hour, but they shift from the southwest to the northwest. And we'll have gusts up to 30 miles per hour tomorrow as well. So it's going to be a breezy couple of days, but for tomorrow it will be more out of the northwest, giving us more of that cooler air. Now for future track, for at least for today, the models aren't really agreeing on the rain that's moving through right now. They don't even have it. So I'm not going to show you that, but I'll just say for now, the rain should move through, nothing strong to severe, and they should wrap up around the afternoon hours. Now for our rain chances down the road, this is Thursday night. We start off mostly sunny to sunny, and then through the overnight hours, we see some rain showers start to develop Friday morning, and those continue to move off Friday afternoon. So there's a little bit of a chance Friday, but isn't the biggest chance. The biggest chance is for Saturday. You can see some of these rain showers start to develop during Saturday morning, and then Saturday afternoon, you see this big swath of rain start to develop. And this will move through Saturday evening and Saturday night. And you can see we could see some more moderate to heavy rainfall Saturday night. That looks to be the best chance of any good precipitation or heavy precipitation. And then this continues through Sunday and will clear out Sunday night into Monday. So really out of all of this, we could see a little bit of rainfall. It wasn't looking too positive a couple days ago, but now we're seeing it's trending more and more towards the positive side. And you can see we could get up to an inch and a half, and it looks like our northern counties could see the most rain. Unfortunately for our southern counties, it looks like anywhere from about a quarter, maybe up to a half inch. But again, not looking great there, but this is some much needed rain because just a couple days ago, it was expected to get nearly nothing. For today, high temperatures in the upper 80s to low 90s, again, could differ a little bit depending on that rainfall that does move through. We will be mostly sunny after those storms move through. We'll be breezy south, out of the southwest, 10 to 20, gusts up to 30. And then for tonight, mostly clear, low temperatures in the upper 60s and a few 70s. Westerly winds at 5 to 15. City by city forecast for Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. Mostly sunny tomorrow and Thursday with those temperatures kind of playing a little bit of a roller coaster down tomorrow and then back up on Thursday. Thursday night into Friday, we do see those storm chances return. Best chance is Saturday into Saturday night. And then after Saturday, we see temperatures right around normal in the mid 80s. And then by the start of next week, we have quite a few storm chances Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday.